Now, if you're considering recruiting out of the Philippines today, there are three key elements that are absolute must do's to ensure the success for your recruitment program. My name's Greg Holmeson from the Philippines Recruitment Company. And today more than ever, it is absolutely critical that we cover off these three key elements to ensure the success of your program. Now, firstly, it is ensuring you have the right skill set in your candidate. Now, as much as that seems pretty easy, it is a lot more difficult to do now that we can't travel. And I implore anyone to say, do not rely on CVs. As much as CVs can be honest when written, the actual practical assessment of that CV can sometimes be very, very different. And so ensuring the skill set is absolutely number one. We will conduct trade skills assessments in the Philippines. So welders will do a weld test, fabricators will do a, fab a fabrication exam, uh, mechanics will sit an aptitude test. We will go through the rigors prior to our clients actually seeing the candidates online. So you must, must, must make sure of that. This is an expensive and time driven process. So the last thing we can afford to do is have someone arrive on shore that doesn't have the skills. Secondly, the trade skills assessment today is now conducted online. So it has nothing to do with the skill set of the candidate and everything to do with their comprehension and being able to share their knowledge with an assessor online. Now this again can be quite challenging and we've had incredibly highly skilled candidates that have failed the TRA. It's only happened a few times for us because we're now very aware of this situation and we don't put people forward that haven't got the comprehension they need to explain their skill set. So all of our candidates will sit a detailed comprehension exam independently that we pay for prior to us even assessing them because there is no point getting someone with the right skills if they don't have the comprehension to be able to explain their skills to an assessor. And finally, number three, how do you protect your investment when someone arrives? So important. Once someone arrives, we have a two-year guarantee, but more importantly than that, we have what we call a lifetime relationship program. We've been accused of caring more for the candidate than we do for the client, and we're actually very clear about that. We want to ensure that if someone boards a plane out of the Philippines, they are going to be successful in Australia. So we connect with them before they leave, of course, but once they arrive, we make sure that they're happy at work. We make sure that they're happy in their um, accommodation. We make sure that their home, their family back at home are happy. And if there are any issues, we are there early in the piece to sort anything out, any challenges at all. And we are very clear that we, we are looking for this to be a lifetime relationship with the client. We want them to end up getting permanent residency and to becoming lifelong employees for our clients. So they are the three key elements that are absolute must do's. Again, they've got to make, you've got to make sure the skills are right. You've then got to make sure that the candidates have the comprehension. And finally, it's the longevity of the candidates that ensures their long-term success for both the client and the candidate. My name's Greg Holmeson from the Philippines Recruitment Company. Please shoot back any questions that you may have. I love talking about this stuff.